हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन मेट्रोस पार्ट 17 इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फियर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फियर फ्रॉम एग्जाम बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव वॉच पार्ट वन टू पार्ट सिक्सटीन प्लीज पे मोर टेंशन हेयर बिकॉज ट्रिकी सो लेट्स अज्यूम वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई टू मेट्रोस लेट्स अज्यूम दैट द मेट्रोस इज लाइक दिस This is two, zero, three, four. This matrix we have to multiply with two seven minus one one five n. So the first thing we told is we have to find the order of these matrix and then come. Then first verify whether you can multiply them or not. So they are one and two set horizontal sets. So this two cross one two three vertical sets two crossed. One, two, three horizontal set, two vertical set. So this three crossed. Now what I told, the tail of this and the head of this has to match. That is, the column of this and the row of this should match. So here it is matching. That means you can multiply these matrices. Correct. First step passed. The next one I told was. You have to to get this element. Now the the final order will be how much? Two cross two. Why? As I told, the final order will be this head of this and tail of this. So that is my final order. So let me if my this is set A and this matrix A and this matrix B. So A cross B will be something of two cross two. So let's suppose this is of two cross two. Now the first element I told to get the first element, what you do? First element is nothing but, or let me put this value here, this bigger one here. This is nothing but a one one. This guy will be a one two, a two one, a two. This will be the my final output. Or let me put c here because the final matrix I'm saying is c is equal to a plus b. So c one one, c one two, c two. Correct. Now. For C one one, I told one one. So that means I have to take first row of this and first column of this. Please note, you take only row of the first one, and in this you take only column. Always to to remember this, we can follow the same funda. First we learn how to walk, and then to go up and down. So the first one will take only row always, and the second one will take always column. The first element is C one one, so we'll take first row of this and first column of this. Please note, the first thing we did till now is we just found whether it is multipliable or not. We check it is three, it is three, so we can multiply. Now, since we can multiply, the final output will have two cross two matrix. So two cross two matrix is something like this: C one one, C one two, C two three, two two, C two. Sorry, C two one and C two two. This is the general form of uh, the two cross two matrix. So there is C one one, and we told that the for the first matrix will always take row, and the second will always take column. Please note this is critical here. Always row first and column one. Now since this element is C one one, we'll take first row and this first column. Why first row? Because this is row one, row two. Here is column one and column. row one column one. and you will do multiply this so you will do multiply one with two first and then with this so you get one into two plus minus one into minus one minus one into minus one plus two into five two into five these elements let's suppose are unknown till now we'll do it in the next step please note what we have done First row of this, first column of this, multiplied all these element corresponding elements one into two minus one into minus one two into five and added them. So what I got is one into two is two. This becomes one two plus one plus ten. This becomes thirteen. Let's take this. This is what C one two. C one two. That means we have to take first 
row and second column. So we take this column now, square row, square column and a sing uh, and a uh, elliptical uh, you can say row. So we have to multiply this guy with this guy because it is C one two. So this will become one into seven minus one into one. 2 into minus 1. Correct? These guys are still unknown to me now. So, what I have done? I found the second element. First row, second column by C12. First row, second column. So, this gives me 14. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 and minus 8 is minus 2. Already put this guy here. Somewhere. Correct. This is minus 2. Let me get this element. This is nothing but C21, that is second row. Second row and first column. So we'll take this guy and we'll multiply with this guy. Correct. Second row, first column. Let's do this 0 with 2 plus 3 with minus 1. Plus 4 into 5. And there is a question. Correct. So this gives me 13 minus 2. Let's solve this. 0 minus 3 plus 9. Sorry, minus 3 plus 20. There is 70. And I have this value left now. This guy is C22. That means second row, second column. I have to multiply 0. 3, 4 row with this column. 7, 1, minus 4 column. Let's do this. 0 into 7 plus 3 into 1 plus 4 into minus 4. So this is nothing bad. Right here. This is 13. We already solved. Minus 2. We already solved. 17. This comes out to be 0. This is 3. 3 minus 16, that is minus. So, this is my answer. If I have two matrices A and B, so A cross B will be this with the order 2 cross 2. Please note for the same thing, if you try B cross A, it won't come out to be same. It may come, may not come, but it may not come out to be same. Generally, it doesn't come out to be same. I recommend you guys practice the same question on your own without even seeing the solution now. See what, where you are going wrong. The mantra here is first thing you put the two matrices together in the fashion it is supposed to get multiplied. Since it was A cross B, so I put A on the left, B on the right. Then I compared whether tail of this and head of this is same, just same, multipliable. Then I saw this 2 and 2, that means I got 2 cross 2 matrix. I wrote all the elements, four elements, the general form. I wrote C11 to get C11. You take the first row plus, please remember, it's always row first, column next. So for this side, it's always row and for this side, it's always column. It won't be haphazard. This side, we always take row. You take row here, column here. Row 1, column 1, you get value. So we have more examples coming out to explain this. But just understand, it's always row into column. The first you get row and the second matrix you always take column. And logically also first you learn how to walk in a straight direction and then you learn how to walk in the horizontal or uh, sorry vertical directions. Let's take some example. We have this matrix A and B. We have to find AB. Also we have to find BA. So first thing first let's find the order of these matrices. It's 2 horizontal, 2 vertical, 2 cross 2, 2 horizontal, 2 vertical, 2 cross 2. Correct. Now I have to find A cross B. A cross B. That is nothing but 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, minus 2, 5. 2 cross 2, 2 cross 2. 
First, you have to check whether the multiplication is possible. The tail of this and the head of this are matching. That means yes, it is possible. And what will be the order? 2 cross 2 because the head of this and tail of this. So it will be of 2 cross 2 form. Correct. Now, as I already told you, always take the horizontal row of this and column of this. Since this is the first element, there will be four elements, 2 cross 2, as I told. Since it is 2 cross 2, it will have something like this C11, C12, C21, C2. Four elements. So C11, that means first row of this and first column of this, you multiply and add. So this becomes 2 into 1, correct? Plus 4 into minus 2. For this guy, it is C12, that is, you take the first row of this, second column of this, in the square basis. So that is 2 into 3 plus 4 into 5. Correct. Similarly, for this, it is C21, so second row of this and first column of this. So we will multiply this guy with this guy. So this becomes 3 into 1. 2 into minus 2. For this, it is C22. That is, we will multiply the second row of this, the second column of this. So this becomes 3 into 3 plus 2 into 5. So what I got is 2 into 1 plus minus 8, that is minus 6. 2 into 3 is 6 plus 28 is only 6. 3 into 1 is 3. 2 into 2 is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. 3 into 3 is 9. 9 plus 10 is 19. This is 2 plus 2. So this is my A cross B matrix. Similarly, for B cross A, what we will do? First we will write B. That is 1, 3, minus 2 and 5. This we will multiply with A. That is 2, 4, 3, 2. First, before multiplying, we will check whether the multiplication is possible or not. So this is 2 cross 2 matrix. This is also 2 cross 2. The tail of this and the head of this, they are matching. That means, yes, we can multiply. Also, the final order will be 2 cross 2. Why? Because the head of this and tail of this we take, you get 2 cross 2. Final matrix will be of this form. 2 cross 2. Same form we can use here. So this guy will be C11. I told here we will always take a row. Here we will always take column. So first row, first column. So this becomes 1 into 2 plus 3 into 3. The next element is C12. First row, second column. So this becomes 1 into 4 plus 3 into 2. This guy is C21. Next guy is C21. So this is second row, first column. That is minus 2 into 5. Sorry, minus 2 into 2 plus 5 into 3. And this is C22. That is second row, second column. That is minus 2 into 4 plus 5 into 3. So what you get here is so 2 plus 9 is 11 4 plus 6 is 10 minus 4 plus 15 is uh, 11 minus 8 plus 10 is 2. So if you see this, this is also 2 cross 2 but if you see that this matrix and this matrix are not same Thus, we can say that A, B is not equal to B. This A cross B is not equal to B. Thus, commutative property does not hold true for multiplication of matrices. So, what we have done here? We took the rows of this and columns of this, multiplied and added. Please note, row of this, column of this, multiplied and 
थैंक यू